I had hoped that with the 50th anniversary of the bands forming, that we would see some new, not just audio, but we would see new, some video that was previously uh, held back in the can. But I, I just don't think there's that much of that. And again, I it's just it, it, totally un, uninformed. But um, I, I wish that there was more interviews of Bonzo talking about his drumming and his influences. You know, Bonham died shortly after Modern Drummer was formed, I, be, I think. Bonham died in fall of September of 80. And I think Modern Drummer came out maybe like around... 78 79 maybe even 80 but i remember they did a memorial to him and i have that copy Hmm. um but there weren't a lot of magazines back then that interviewed drummers you know and i if i i may be wrong but i think modern drummer was the first one Hmm. that was solely devoted to drummers so it would have been so great to see an extensive john bonham interview talking about drumming, talking about his influences, talking about his favorites, talking about what he liked, what he didn't like, his tuning, why he chose the different uh, uh, shells, you know, of different fabrication. Like, um, of course, he had he had the old wood, you know, three ply wood shell drums early on. And then he had the Amber Vista lights live. He tended to prefer the wood shells in the studio, although who knows, you know, who knows? He might have played. It doesn't sound to me like he played the Ambers in the studio. Right. It does sound to me like he played the Steel in the studio. Yes. Because I think on In Through the Outdoor, some of those songs sound like the Steel drums. Yeah. But again, that's just complete conjecture. There's a there's a picture of the of the uh, Polar Studios. ABBA owned the studios where they recorded In Through the Outdoor, and you can see the stainless kit set up in one side. And then you see another kit. I think it's a green sparkle kit. You never know. I mean, in the studio, all bets are off. They're experimenting. That's right. That's right. You know? That would be cool, though, that if the rest of Zeppelin, you know, would confirm some of those things. Wouldn't that yeah. be great? Oh, yeah. Right? You know? Yeah. I mean, it would be great if they did, like, one of those classic albums type shows yes. where they even did the second album or the fourth album. They take the master tapes out. They sit down with Eddie Kramer. Terry and I just, like, daydream about this show this stuff all the time yeah. you know and and to no avail i mean i doubt that's ever going to happen right. who knows uh, but it is the 50th anniversary year and i'm looking forward to some maybe new live releases there's some rumors about on that maybe something from the the fall seven, 71 japan tour how the east was won right. some people are referring to it as but um yeah, so you know a lot of a lot of his. I feel like a lot of his drumming. There, there are a lot of questions that that could be definitively answered if there was a a, a good, thorough interview right, right. of John. You know, and the other thing I was thinking about the other day is, wouldn't it be great if you know all of these? The movie with the song remains the same in Royal Albert Hall. They had a single camera on him. <laughs> for for all that time, right? So they have all they have all that what's footage. Frust- what's that? <laughs> it's one of the greatest frustrations, right? Can I just see the bottom cam, please? Right, exactly, or or even what they call the God shot, the shot that has the whole band, right? From from center yes, audience, right? They have those shots. I mean, what what happened to that camera? You know, I mean, I know some of the some of the footage from Song Remains the same. The, the, those guys were partying real hard. The the crew and. The story is that, you know, of course, Peter Grant and Jimmy Jimmy got pretty upset with them and they were fired. And then the, another crew was brought in to finish the film. So there's a lot of gaps in the footage, but there's still a lot of footage. Why can't they just like put together an alternate cut or as a, a, like an extra DVD, a bonus DVD or two or three or ten of alternate footage? Yeah, I mean, seriously, you know, there's there's enough. Zeppelin is so hugely popular that even even the um esoteric nature of uh, the the drum parts is going to appeal to hundreds of thousands of people yeah no question. i mean there's a market there's definitely a market for it especially in the drum community if somebody if they came out with a dvd that's like alternate you know angles or alternate performances of john bonham yes on the song remains the same you know, on another night or something, guys would be 
buying that up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Can you imagine uh, from the camera angle of behind him and a view of his bass drum and his foot? That would be insane. That would like break the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Moby Dick, as, as fun as it is to see the fantasy sequence, right. boy, I would love to just see the whole damn solo. Right, exactly. Because once I've seen him walking a cow and drinking a beer once, right. I'm kind of good with that, you know? <laughs> I'm kinda, I, I've kind of seen it. But but I would, I never get tired, or I would, ne- would never get old seeing him working out on the snare drum, playing right. playing all that rudimental stuff. Yeah. The next time you meet uh, Jimmy Page and the rest of Led Zeppelin, can you ask him to release all this stuff? Because you met these guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. And I didn't think about it that night. But yeah, I wish that I had said something about that. Yeah. 